Well, here we are again, Lois, <laughs> you and I. Here we are. We're doing a really good thing this time. We're going to try to... Hey, wait, we do a really good thing every time. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're here today to talk about the who, what, why, when, where, and how of a Northern Air Fire benefit dinner yes. for Kevin and Vanette Mills, who unfortunately lost their home in a terrible fire on August 24th at Rainy Lake. And uh, the poor people have, they're homeless. Yeah, they are without, they lost it. I can't imagine losing everything that quickly. That What a traumatic thing. And it, this is a wonderful, beautiful opportunity for our community to get behind them and let them know how much we care and we feel for them. So what better way to do that than to have a benefit, a dinner benefit, um, and just extend and let these folks know that our whole community hurts for them. Yeah, neighbors should give a hand up. That's right. To neighbors, and that's, that's right. what we're doing here. We're trying to give a hand up to neighbors that are that are in, in distress right now and homeless. So, what are we going to do? What we're going to do is we're going to have a, a dinner at the Elks Club, the Elks Lodge, and uh, they've given us permission, yes. and they have told us we can go there on October sixth, mm -hmm. which is a Thursday night. And we've decided that we should have dinner from 5 to 7, approximately. Yes. Yep. And, uh, of course, uh, the next question is, is uh, if you're going to have a dinner, what are we going to eat? So, Lois, what are we going to eat? <laughs> we are going to have some pulled pork sandwiches. Um, Karen Lehman is going to make her famous delicious macaroni and cheese. Um, coleslaw and cookies for dessert. Coca-Cola is donating um, Coke products, Coke and Sprite. Yep. And then we'll have water available for folks. That's right. Um, it's always going to be good. Yep. And uh, we're going to keep it simple. We're not trying Very to make simple. this a really big fancy dinner. Yep. Because what we're really interested in doing here is getting people to come by and to give generously of themselves to help someone else. And so uh, it'll be simple. And uh, we're hoping to have a big crowd there, and we're hoping that the people come and recognize that they need to help their neighbors. Mm -hmm. And so, <clears throat> like we did for our Ukrainian dinner that we had last May, there'll be a big box there, right? Yes, there will. There will be a donation box at the door when people come in, you can sign in. Um, I think it's nice to have a little guest book area so that, people, so that the Mills family can see the number of people and be familiar with our names. Um, so you'll sign in, there will be a, a box there where you can make a donation, and then come in, sit down and have dinner. Um, you'll go through the line, get a plate full of yummy food, sit down with your friends and neighbors, catch up with people you don't see in a long time, um, and just have a great night of fellowship. Okay, so we've got the who, and we've got the when, and we've <laughs> yeah. got the why, yep. and we know where, but now it's the how. It's the how. Volunteers. That's we right. need volunteers. We have a core team of people that are putting all of this together, but we need people to come and volunteer to set up, to serve, to clean up, and to take down. That's right. And so what we're going to do here is the Chamber of Commerce is, is involved in this. They're very, they came forward and says we need to do this. People at the Elks are involved here. People from various churches are involved yes. here, and people from businesses are involved here in our industry in town. They're all involved here. So we have a steering committee, so far of five people. If somebody else wants to join us, that would be great. Come on in. Yep, and we will be meeting uh, on Monday, Monday nights, nights at 4.30 at the Chamber yes. office every Monday from here on out. Yes. And so if you want to come, and we need desperately need people to take over some of the responsibilities. So here are some of the things that we need. We need to have people serve food, mm -hmm. and we'll have five different stations. So, yes. And I'm, I've figured out here that uh, we'll break this up into 40-minute segments so that we can have three periods of time. So we need 15 people to come and serve. Mm -hmm. We're going to need people to, to come and uh, set up the place, and we try, like to try to do that. I think we talked about what? getting together the night before. The night before or early in the day that day. It doesn't take too long when you've got the right people there and enough people there. Right, and if the tables are already set up anyway, we're okay. Bada bing. But that group also needs to help set up, but they also need to take down. And so yep. we need to take down at the end if we have to, unless they tell us that we don't have to because they got something else going on. But we'll need to put the chairs away and the tables away and mm -hmm. so on. So we need a crew to do that. 
We're going to need a crew to work behind the pop machine area and the ice and to serve water and pop and ice and so on. And we're definitely going to need a, a crew to help bust the tables. Yes. Because we're going to be using not paper plates. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you know, I, there is just, there's something good about having a real plate and real silverware and, and it's just important. We have those things available, let's use them. Right, and that means we're going to need dishwashers. Yes, we will need some dishwashers. <laughs> So we're going to have to do that and, and uh, you know, to work in the back. We don't need too many, but we need enough mm -hmm. to know what's going on. And, of course, um, people are bussing the tables. They're going to have to pick up the silverware and the plates and things and do that rotation. So yeah. that needs to work out. And, of course, you know, if we're going to have food, I guess we have to have cooks. Yeah, we do. <laughs> we And we have... Um, we have a few cooks in mind that we'd like to ask to come on in and, and to cook food. Um, the Elk's Kitchen is small. If anybody's ever been in the Elk's Kitchen, it's kind of small. So it doesn't take too many people to keep her or keep it operating. But if you are very interested in coming in to learn how to cook or to be a part of the kitchen crew, let us know. Yes, and then we'd like to have somebody greet people when they come yes. in the door. We'll have a table set up there and where the donation box is. And by the way, if you don't want to give cash and you want to write a check, who should they write it to? Oh, they can write it directly to Kevin and Vonette Mills. That money is going to go directly to these folks, so you can write your check to Kevin and Vonette. That's right. And if I you do don't that. come and you want to write a check, you can send it to Kevin and Vonette Mills yes. at 2690 County Road 94, International Falls 56649. So these are these are the things that we need. So how do you volunteer? <laughs> so the question is, how are you going to sign up to volunteer? Well, <clears throat> you can get a hold of me at 218-240-5125. That's my cell phone. Or 218-286-5625. Four, nine. And we, by the way, we're going to need some people. We got folded flyers too, so we'll. To put posters up. Yep, we'll need yes. people. Yep. So we're going to need people for that. And uh, if they need to volunteer for that, they can call and we can get them lined up for that whole business. Yep. The other thing you can do is you can you can email Raven, that's the bird, <laughs> <laughs> Raven LHG, that's my, those are my initials, Raven LHG at gmail.com. So those two ways on the phone, one way on the email, and part of my job is to keep track of who's doing what. That's right. And if we don't do that, it'll be chaos. It will. It will. <laughs> he, Ali calls me every day and tells me, well, we've got this and this and this. So I have a list started too, and um, between the two of us, we're keeping track of it, but you are the, the guy in charge. Yeah, and uh, one thing I want to tell you is that this community is absolutely amazing, and the people are willing to help out. For example, we said we might need some takeout things. Yep. So we went to battalions yesterday and bang. Yes. So they said, this is the least we can do to help sure. these people. We went to Coke and they said, sure, we're happy to help out. Uh, they're going to make a big banner for us and we're going to be able and to put that product. up. Yes. We go to the churches and they say, Yep, Let's, how can we help and what can we do? Um, some of the ladies are going to bake cookies for desserts. They want People want to get involved in whatever way they can. And it's really important to us to find ways to make that happen. Um, mm -hmm. Everybody wants, it's, it's very important in times like this that people get involved and feel that they're making a contribution. So really, if you want to get involved in this, you want to volunteer, you want to help, Call us. We'll yep. find a way to make that happen. Call or email the numbers. Yep. Yep. Yes. We better talk about takeout. Yes. We, well, we got we've got the um, the units to yep. put the food the in three boxes. compartmental units. We yep. got those, but we we want to have people come and stay. Yep. But but also we understand that people can't make it. But if they can come by quickly and and they want to do that and leave a donation, that'd be great. Yep, they can do that. But remember that this is a night of fellowship. You know, right. one of the things that I've heard that people really missed is that ability to sit down with one another and have a meal. So please do know that you're very welcome to come in, sit down, have dinner with your friends, and then um, be on your way for the night. But it's it's we really want people to come in and sit down and eat. Yeah. If somebody needs to take a meal home to somebody that can't be there because of right. whatever reason, then we'll be able to we do that help. up to a limit, right? Yeah, yeah. We're not, uh, whatever, 
we're cooking for 350 people. That's what we're expecting. Yep. So please keep that, that number in mind. Um, for some people, it's not about the food. It's not about going in to, to have something, but you want to make a contribution, please know that you can stop by. Or like Lee said, just mail your contribution directly to the Mills family. That's correct. That's very important to, that, uh, that that happened. Mm -hmm. So I, I think we're getting pretty close here. I think we've gone through, uh, you know, we, we kind of put together a little list of things. And, and obviously, this is how it happens, you know. People in the community say, who's going to do something to help mm -hmm. the mills out? And so the next thing you know, people say, well, why don't the churches get involved? Yeah, okay. So then somebody gets on the phone and they say, let's call and find out. Well, why don't we call the Elks? Okay, so we do. And, yeah. we, and the people from the churches come to meet with the Elks. So we met with the Elks board and they say, hey, good deal, no problem. We just find a date. And then we get a steering committee together. Once you get that group together and you figure out a date and then you go from there. And that's when we figured out, now we got the dates. So now we can get a hold of Laurel at the Gazette. And yes. now we can go to, what do you call that? Let's talk. Oh, let's talk about what, it on the radio. The third of October. You, yeah. We're going to go and talk. What are we going to talk about? <laughs> this very thing, where we are, and invite, make sure that people know. Right, and we yeah. want to let the community know. And we're going to go to uh, KBHW too as well. Yeah. And um, and then of course we're on this lovely KCC TV with our good friend Darcy here, and that will be on. And then we will have uh, things. Up posters and so on and we do need to have flyers and things put up around the community so we need some volunteers for that so so that that's what we had to do and then you know who's going to pick up this who's going to get this who's going to do that who's going to do this that's what the steering committee does and that's how we do it yep. so, it really comes together pretty easy mm -hmm. so pass the word around all you yep. folks about what's going on and let's help that Mills family yes. out let's love our neighbors that's what we need to do that's right Make loving your neighbor great again. <laughs> Is, isn't that true? It is true. It is true. You know, we all hear all the garbage in our in our world. This is a great opportunity is, to do good. This is what community is all that's about. That's right. That's right. And that's Home why we're, that's why we're proud to have Backus Community yeah. Center here helping us out with Darcy and you yeah. and Lois and the, and all of the people in our community. So we're awesome. very very grateful. If you can participate, please do so. And let's remember the mills in our hearts. Thank you. Thank you.